Time now for our underreported story of the week. A high school wrestler from Iowa gives up his chance to become a state champion by refusing to wrestle a girl. Joel Northrup, a homeschooled sophomore, is calling his decision to forfeit the match a matter of faith. And he says he doesn't think it's, quote, appropriate for a boy to engage a girl in this manner. Well, Amy Holmes and Eric Cunningham are here to grapple over this story, uh, take this <laughs> on. I want to start off, uh, Eric, I'll start off with you here. I mean, tell us about this guy. Is he being a gentleman, you think, or is this sexist? Uh, well, I'd like to think he's being a gentleman, but uh, I just know, like, watching TV and movies, whenever you see a girl enter a guy-dominated sport, she ends up trouncing them. <laughs> so part of me wonders if he's just forfeiting to, uh, to save some time. Do you think he would have been beat? I mean, it definitely, just watching TV and these movies, you see that every single time. <laughs> I'm sure he's seen the same things. He's, he's getting it in his head. I think uh, maybe this entered a factory, didn't want to lose. Amy, what do you think? Uh, you think he's, he's got a point there? Is this about religion? Is it about his faith? Well, the young man says it's about religion, but, you know, Suzanne, I think the news here is that chivalry isn't dead. I mean, I'd like to meet this kid's older brother or a single uncle or maybe even a <laughs> widowed grandfather in this case. Um, a little match you know, going think, on here. Yeah, Go ahead, Andy, I think, you can advertise I think we if put you boys, <laughs> I think we put boys in a very yeah. contradictory position, that we raise them to say it is never okay to be physically aggressive towards a girl, that boys are told that they have to ask permission for every step of the way for any kind of intimate contact, and then we say go tackle her nail her you know it's the state championship I mean I'm telling you Suzanne you would not want to meet the kid who relishes putting a girl in a headlock okay that's a kid <laughs> who ends up on a dateline special oh Eric do you think this is intimacy yeah, yeah, I mean, Amy well, says this is about intimacy that's not about sports well I mean I feel like if you're if you if there's something about wrestling a girl that you uh, think is sinful then I, that's not wrestling I don't know what it is but that's not wrestling uh, I mean, uh, I wrestling, it it's is. not boxing, it's not, it's a, <laughs> yeah. Amy says you know what uh, it is. Question mark. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it, it is It is wrestling, it's obviously a very physical sport, but it's not boxing, it isn't, you know, cage match fighting, it's about control and trying to pin somebody. I think uh, overall, I, it might be, I really, I would like to see the, the religious pa passage that does mention wrestling that this, this uh, teenager is not uh, citing. Uh, Amy, well, but Suzanne, Amy, hold back. Yeah. one more point, that she has a psychological advantage if he walks into that match with any kind of reservations about tackling a girl, pinning a girl, uh, if he's at all hesitant or cautious, then she does have an advantage there and it's not a fair fight. All right, we're going to leave it there. Eric Cunningham, founder of News Parody Site, thefullginsburg.com, and Amy Holmes, host of the radio talk show, America's Morning News. Great match, guys. Thank you. Thanks.